so welcome back to my channel this is Gamer Dom and welcome back to World of Brighetto yep that little bastard of an Italian premium medium tank is everywhere at the moment so I'm recording this before the new patch went live obviously um, no Italian tanks other than the Brighetto in the game yet um, this is me driving the M40 M43 artillery on um, a tier 9 game here on proper off and you can see statistically yeah it's fairly balanced they've got a couple of very good players um, we've got some uh, okay players now I started to go left I wanted to go up and cover get into the 78 a 7088 but realized pretty quickly that mm, not many tanks are going that way so pulled back across went back to the campy line the one two line why does everyone camp down that line I don't know but they do um, as I thought, well, A, I'll last longer there, because I have no sixth sense on this artillery, um, and B, I can support anybody trying to push down on those guys from there. And there's no point being artillery, there's no point being any class of tank being out on the flank on pretty much on your own. You might as well stick it out and see what you can do with the with your team, right or wrong. Um, and in this case, wrong. Look at that. One, two, three. I can't even count how many tanks there are. And, and the other flank just have hunkered down as well which I can't blame them at all so um, M40 artillery it has a big ass gun fairly long reload 39 second reload but it does do some damage and some splash damage at that so splash the AMX 30 anticipated where he was going to be and plonked a shell down on him and that's always gives you a good feeling when you anticipate initially an initial shot where you should be aiming and it lands pretty much where you expected and you still do damage then you know makes you feel like you're gonna have a reasonable arty day but i'm gonna need to because we're already two tanks down uh enemy are dominating the ridge uh we haven't really got anybody pushing forward at all um which is kind of a problem because it means we've give, handed the entire initiative to the enemy team was tempted to take a blind shot on that uh, rock place because I think there was almost certainly somebody there but the 39 second reload you don't really want to waste too much of your shell that said I then launched a, a speculative shot towards the Brighetto but I wanted to try and help our guy on the hill over there because he's the only player him and the IS-3 the only players on the um, left hand side of the map for us and that's not good. That's not a good scenario. So the light tank's taken down. I'm taking a bead on the uh, 112. Aiming in. He looks like he's tracked in place, is he? No, not quite. He's just stupid. Okay. Well, we'll help him along, shall we? He's trying to pull out now, but... Shot, shot in the air. And there's a kill. Beautiful. Only 150 hit, but took a tier 8 out of the game. We're still losing though, 4-2. to two. The team is still just not budging. They're saying we're not moving. So this is actually a game where artillery can have a real influence because when it's all stationary, that's when you like it. It's the old joke about artillery stops camping. In that sense, it does because the more you stop and take your time and, you know, hunker down in the bush with your with your magazine and your cup of cocoa um, the more likelihood artillery will hit you and that's the beauty of well that's the, the thing about artillery it will tend to make your day very bad when you just don't move and you know whose fault is it whose fault is it when you move is it the artillery when you don't move i mean is it the artillery or is it the the guy who doesn't move well of course it's artillery because artillery is skillless completely skillless we're pulling this back slowly but surely three to four the enemy are trying to push a bit but they're just getting hammered every time they push over but they are taking out our tanks our Brighetto went down Brighetto on Brighetto fire there um, oh they tracked that T32 oh yeah they did but only briefly and trying to anticipate where he's going to be it's not too long a range and there you go 280 hit nice Relocate after you've fired, always a good plan because just in case the enemy artillery are looking for where you might be and looking for your tracer shot. Uh, it's a bit harder on these bigger maps because there's less obvious places to be but in some maps it's very very obvious where you're going to be and 
if they predict it right, you can have a very quick stop back to your garage. So again, this is working to my advantage. They're not really pushing hard and giving me enough time to reload each shell after I fired. So I hit that T32 quite well, and just in time, a couple of tanks turn up for me to have a pop at. Full strength Lorraine. Come on, aiming in. I do carry uh, vertical stabilizers on this. And there you go, nice hit on the Lorraine. 343. Tracked him in place as well, I think. Certainly did module damage of some sort on him. T32's popped back up again. Reloaded in, reloading in. A couple of enemy tanks are popping up now. They're getting a bit either running out of patience or getting a bit cocky but they are winning so it's four to six to their team where oh where are they and again i'm fully loaded ready for action there's that amx i hit at the beginning of the game is he going to make the same as now or should we go for a brighetto instead shell in the air oh just overshot him oh and he would have been broadside on wow that would have made a horrible mess of that spaghetti machine. Still four to six. Aiming for the Amex in the middle. Our FV4202 is trying to do some spotting for the team. T32, come on T32, we want you. Let's be having you. Other oh, Artie had a Splunk. Does that mean he's still tracked there or not? Let's have a quick try. Oh, hit something there, didn't I? You can see the splush. Definitely hit something. But we've lost another couple of tanks. It's down to 4-7, four, four, which is not great. There's a very good AMX player there. And he has... Nope, not him. The... Uh, Borsig, so the Borsig must be up around H1 somewhere because he took out our FV who was cruising down the middle. I'm, I'm loaded back in and I'm thinking right I need to help that guy up on the hill there. We, we've lost a couple of tanks up there. That Brighetto is right before the taking. Is he tracked there? He looks like he is. Perfect for us. Uh, he's gonna move. Ah oh, but he doesn't move far enough and the shell lands in hits him, bit naughty there, I should have marked the target because then our other artillery landed a shell right there just after mine arrived um, but how many times do you mark a target and then they fire anyway so should have done that but didn't forgot all about it in the heat of the game so I'm aiming back to the middle it's 5 plays 8 but it's still very very tight Nothing much is moving in there. I'm aiming in where I suspect some enemy tanks are. But I'm not going to take any blind shots at this stage. This doesn't have an awful lot of of, of, of rounds sorry, in this tank. So you run out very, very rapidly. They're pushing now. There's a big push coming. Trying to get ahead of that Borsig. Can we get a shell in on him? He's still moving. Yeah, and there we take him down. Good job. Right. The Lorraine's down now, so we've beaten off that attack. They're pulling back again. I'm on my last regular shell. And then I've only got five premium shells afterwards. Here he goes the Amex. I knew he'd have a push at some point. Trying to keep ahead of him so that I'm ready to aim once I'm ready to fire once I am loaded. Still a couple more seconds till that happens. Ideal scenario is he either stops or gets tracked. Does he need to? Oh, he's really going to stop there. My other artillery hit him. Come on, stay there. Shell in the air. Nice. Hit him. Hit him side on. We should have done a fair bit of damage, but didn't see. He's disappeared again. So I'm now to the premium rounds now. It's full strength Brighetto, or near full strength Brighetto. T32's coming forward again. He's a one shot. Oh, there's the AMX again. Not quite loaded. Oh yeah, we did um, we did some serious damage, so only a splash needs to happen on him. 
So we, ah, somebody else. Somebody else had the same thought. The artillery had the same thought. So clearly my hit on the side must have done a lot of damage to him. Mark him where I'm pre-aiming, but... Then the Progetto spots up, pops up, so he thinks he's safe there, does he? Let's see whether... Let's test that theory out, buddy. Just hold still. Hold still. Hold your horse. Oh, he's off and running. Damnation. So back to the middle, you can see our Progetto, our Progetto is moving in. Game's tiny, and we're coming back tighter against nine plays ten. I'm marking the ground so you can see that I'm looking this way. There's the T32, he's not paying attention. Take the shot, knock him out. Good. Didn't really notice the WZ until I'd already fired, which was a bit yeah, a bad play by me. Bit of tunnel vision there on the weak tank. I should have should have noticed that WZ pop up and left the uh, weak tank to to our um, Brigetto, but I didn't. That was a mistake. Uh, enemy have pushed over the over the ridge. It's now 11 all. There's a Brigetto threatening the base. Just waiting to reload, and then we can have a go on him. Come on. Shells in the air. 400 and that was only a splash as well very nice three shells left full premium which is not ideal but um, shells raining in he's pulling back you can see the trees going down behind so let's pull back and have a look at the artillery the GW Tiger moving across the field here don't need to do a huge amount to kill him But of course, Trish for me disappears just as I get there. I've got four kills already, 2,300 damage. And we've turned this game around, we were losing this badly. So, is that MX? I'm waiting for that MX spotting the artillery. It's probably a bit further over to my left now, but just waiting. There's the Progetto pushing into our base. Maybe we'll turn that way. Oh, he's down. Good. AMX, where's he off to? He looks like he's um, trying to get some proxy spot. Oh, do you see the artillery shell there? So I know he's around here somewhere. But I'm not going to waste one of three shells left. There he is. Shell in the air. Nice. Didn't quite hit him, which is a shame. 352 damage. So it just, start, just shy of two minutes left. They've only got these two artillery left. I've got two shells left. Reloading. Reloading. Ah, 1390 takes him down. So where is the remaining artillery? Time to move. Well, it's either going to be... There's only usually two places artillery are likely to be at this stage of the game. They're going to be around the K12 area, or they're going to be where that AMX is, down at um, K7. Or possibly on the other side of the rails. So, the fact that he hasn't been spotted means there's a fair chance that he's over here. Oh, but no he isn't. He's right in front of me. Wasn't expecting that, so lock in. Aim, aim, aim. Good night, Vienna. Nicely done. Game over. Well played. To me. That's the way to get an ace tanker. <laughs> Bloody hell. Ace tanker. Uh, what's that? Fighter, bruiser, high caliber, and um, gauze medal for causing damage exceeding eight times the hit points of your vehicle. 4,382 damage, 5 kills, 1,337 base XP. Monster game. That Air Max had a cracker as well, look at him. Uh, really did a good job in terms of spotting. How much spotting did he do? 6,600, there you go. 
absolute beauty and the CDA kept alive and did an awful lot as well and he even he got 1600 assistance too monumental game three of us I think plus this other artillery did pretty good job and the Brigetto while he was still alive did well that was a, a great carry great teamwork great cooperation 16 uh, sorry 15 shots fired hit with seven did damage with seven also got eight lots of, of splash damage um, actually did a spot as well <laughs> so there you go how much to stun duration 175 basically seconds of stun uh, only 500 stun damage done for me 52,700 credits but I did use pretty much all my premium ammunition which meant I made a loss of 4,700 with the premium account and 2006 experience for my crew so there you go, acing the M443 I'm kind of loving this t this uh, artillery uh, really really am I didn't at first but I'm really really enjoying it anyway, hope you enjoyed it if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, enjoy your games, have fun, try not to take it too seriously, and I'll see you again soon. This is Gamer Dom, signing out.